In this tutorial, I'll be going over a simple and non-destructive method for creating this cutout text effect using Affinity Designer. So I'll open up a new document and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my text tool and create some text on the canvas. So for this demonstration, I will write cutout and I'm going to change the font to something else. Usually a bolder font works well with this. I'm going to go with Montserrat for this demonstration and I will use the black variety. And now I'm going to create a rectangle around this text. So I'll grab my rectangle tool and I will click and drag to create a rectangle going around the text. And then I will lower the rectangle beneath the text by coming over here to the layer menu and just clicking and dragging this down here. And now I want to center these up. So I'm going to hold shift and click on both of them to select them, both the rectangle and the text. And I want to make sure I have this centered vertically and horizontally. Now to subtract the text from the rectangle, all you have to do is select the text and come over here to the blend mode and change it to erase, which is the option all the way down here on the bottom. And once you do that, you can see that the text will cut through every other, every object beneath it. So if I were to grab my rectangle or grab my selection tool and move this over, you can see it's not just going through the rectangle, it's going through the image as well. What we want to do is we want to confine this effect to just this rectangle right here so that it doesn't apply to the image as well. So let me place that back in the center. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this text and I'm just gonna click and drag it and place it on top of the rectangle. And when you do that, you're gonna see it's only applied to the rectangle. And now if you select the entire grouping, you can move the text around like that and you can see the negative space showing through those areas. So let me center this up on the page. And the good thing about this is that this is non-destructive. You can still edit this text and change the font and the kerning between the letters. For example, if I expand the menu right here, I can select the text. I can come back over here to my text tool and I could just place the cursor between the letters and hold my option key and the left and right arrows to increase and decrease the spacing between the letters. If you're using Windows, it would be the Alt key. So I'm just gonna change the spacing between these letters and adjust that. And now I'm gonna adjust the rectangle to update this changed size of the text. So I'm, I'm going to select this option here and I'm going to convert this to curves by going to layer and selecting convert to curves. And now I can take these two nodes right here and just bring them in. I'm going to hold shift while I do this. And maybe I'll give these rounded corners as well. So I'll select the corners tool. I'll select all of the corners and I will bring them in to round them a little bit. And I will change the color of this from light gray to white. And if you want to make this look even better, you can change the blend mode of this grouping to something like overlay, and then you get that effect right there. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.